over and they cannot give me any treatment. So finally, he sent me back to home. And I, I don't know how to do. When I, I heard that a uh, uh, man of God will be here, I'm living in Boston. And uh, I left so Boston. So you will not die, but live to testify to the goodness of God. Yes. Yes. It's swollen, man of God. Please help us. And we believe that God is going to use you to help him, to save him. Please help us. Help us, man of God. Okay. Help us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He can move. Speak life to every that area of his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the life of Jesus Christ in your bones. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Let's Thank put our hands Jesus. together for Thank Jesus Christ. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's the Thank only you, one Jesus. who can Thank do you, such Jesus. miracles. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you tell us what's your name and who you are to Baba? My name is Shafia Tutoku, and uh, I'm his granddaughter. And you lost your voice how? By saying hallelujah that he's healed? Yes, 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 yes. Wow, that was amazing, amazing. And can you also introduce yourself, who you are, and who is that gentleman standing next to you? My name is Simon Sapo. Uh, he's my father. He's your father, wow. So where are you coming from? From Boston, Massachusetts. From Boston, Massachusetts. What a long ways from here. Tell us, what are some problems that Baba was struggling with and for how long? Um, and what are some sickness that he's experiencing in his life? It's been almost two years. Uh, he's suffering from cancer, prostate cancer, diabetes, uh, arthritis, and uh, a severe chronic uh, anemia. So every week we've been running to emergency room. So every week we were in an emergency room. So every week you had to go to emergency room for him? Because her uh, sugar level for the diabetes is between 300 and 700. So sometimes we end up right there is almost we lost him. And they, just like a, three months ago, they said there's nothing they can do for him. Uh, he has to go home and die. So, so they said that this, there's no, no solution for him. The only thing is, is, gonna, is going to die. He's going to die. And there's no solution anymore. So they're expecting us to just give up and prepare him to die. But we believe in God. We believe that something can happen. Come on, let's put our hands together for such a wonderful faith. So and this is the wheelchair that your, your father was consigned to for the past two years, and that's something that he was in all the time. He had to be moved around that wheelchair. Actually, his wheelchair is not here. This is from the hotel. The wheelchair that he is uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, but he's at home. He cannot do anything. His daily life is crippled. My daily life is just stick to this because that's what it is. We have to adjust every day, go through the pain, and he cannot sleep. He cannot sleep because he has a pain over his body and it's very difficult to live. And he cannot eat, he cannot go to the toilet. So it's like a constant need, 24 seven. So what did Jesus Christ do last night? As Apostle John Chi began to come up and uh, you guys begin to cry out that Jesus come and, and touch us at the point of our needs. What began to happen at that place? The thing is, it, it started a Friday night when the apostle touched him because every night we had to use insulin for his diabetes. But we went home, we didn't use it. And the last day morning, we checked the sugar level. It was 145. Say, hmm, something is up. Wow, come on, put your hands together for Jesus. So the first night as he received his healing, he went home and he didn't use the insulin. And, and then you checked his levels and everything was back to normal. 145 and then we say okay so the next yesterday it was the final straw and when the man of God touched him and the healing was complete we went home Papa was working come on put your hands together for Jesus Christ this is wonderful 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 testimony let us hear from Baba and just to kind of uh, Baba how are you I'm fine 
<laughs> come on. How are, you, how are you feeling right now? You are standing right now. You, I saw you walking down those stairs like you are 20 years old. And I was like, wow, what is happening? Where's your wheelchair? You're like, I left it back at the hotel. How are you feeling right now? Myself, I forgot uh, this watch here. I, I don't know if I use it before coming to church. So this morning, I forgot it. Because myself, I don't know what's happened to me because I forgot everything. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, because uh, last day, the first time she touched me, when I come back home, and my son, I I went to bathroom myself and take my bath, do everything. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. When I come back to the bed, he asked me, did you know why you did now? I said, what happened? He said, uh, you are going to bathroom by yourself and take your bath and come back start to dress, to, to put your clothes on. I don't understand. I said, oh, so I went to bathroom myself to take shower oh hmm so my, i forgot that S- something happened to me that's the, the 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 beginning of the healing come on put your hands together for jesus christ and we know that you almost lost your voice rejoicing with what can you tell you? What can you tell us about what happened and what were you experiencing during that moment? First, first of all, I want to say glory be to God for us being here. We heard about this uh, last week. Thank you. <laughs> we heard about this last week and um, it was just a miracle for us coming here. Um, God used our spiritual father, Alan Dagua, which happened to be his uh, son. He lives in California and he just heard the name of John Chi in his dream so he woke up and went on the internet to look it up that's how he knew that John Chi was coming to Washington wow talk about divine intervention come on yes. so right there he contacted my brother and said John Chi is coming make sure that our father comes here we didn't know how it's going to happen but God made it happen yesterday when the man of God went there, I'm like, this is the moment. Because we know that as being here, he's going to get healed. So, I mean, all that I needed, all that I have to do is just to call on God. Me calling upon the apostle to heal him, that was my cry for God to say, this is the moment that you promised to us. Why don't you move now? And thank God, the man of God, you know, yielded to the spirit of the living God that he's been doing from the beginning. And then God used him. So I, I was so happy seeing my father, you know, uh, my, my grandfather was just a joy. And at the same time, it built my faith as well. And I'm just, I'm just happy. These are the, the medicines that, some of the medicines that he takes. Um, yeah, th- th- these are just some of them. You know, he has some back home, um, na- natural medicine and all that. So we give all the praise and we thank God for the life of Apostle John Chi. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ who is alive and is in this place. And Baba, Baba also asked me, he wants to sing a song to give God some praise. Is that correct? Not to sing, but something I just want to say. Uh, we heard that Apostle John Chu will be here. The time I was sick, it's a long time. By the time everything's grown up badly in my body, it's two years. So I cannot work for myself. I cannot do anything at home. I have a worker and I use the home. To go to bathroom is not possible. Take my own bath, I can't do it. Can you imagine that? 
this man is the one you are seeing here today. Stand before you. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. So, this is the appointment of God. And I want to thank God because this appointment is real. And I believe what happened yesterday. So the whole world must know Hallelujah. that Apostle Jonchi is the one God reserved for me. Hallelujah. 